everybody and welcome to um, August favorites and I'm gonna kind of do something a little bit different we're gonna call this my ooze and uggs because a lot of people have been asking me for some vapes for some products that maybe I didn't love um, and so just always talking about everything that I really did like so um, my cousin and I have this thing where we always go ugh, like ugh, like Characters we don't like, things we don't like. Um, we have this thing, if you're a Gilmore Girls fan, we have this thing called Ugh Christopher or Ugh April. Every time they come on screen, we text each other this. So I figured it might be kind of fun to incorporate my Uggs into my my monthly favorites. So we're gonna start with my Oohs, which are the things that I really did like that I tried out this month. So my first ooh is, this is from a line called Cafe, and this is a Kona coffee bean infused skincare line. Now I like coffee. I love coffee. I live and breathe for coffee. So of course I'm going to want to try a skincare line where coffee is infused into everything and I smell like coffee. And this is the Vitamin C Concentrated Serum, and I've been using this every single night before I go to bed. I wash my face, I do my usual skincare routine before. After I put on my eye cream, which I'll get to in a minute, um, but before moisturizer, I've been putting this on and I have just noticed my skin has been feeling firmer. It's a little bit more radiant. It just looks, it's just been looking a little bit more perky. Um, and so this is an amazing product. Plus, like I said, you smell like coffee. Um, there's also an eye cream that I've been testing out, an exfoliator that I've been testing out. Um, those, I'm still in the process of testing those, so those reviews will be coming a little bit later. I'll probably end up doing an entire video just about this cafe line because I find all of it is just amazing. Um, so my first ooh is this vitamin C serum. It is amazing. Love it for eye cream. Um, I recently have been testing out a lot of different eye creams because my eyes are very sensitive so I've always kind of strayed away from the eye creams just kind of in general because nobody likes to wake up with puffy nasty eyes the next day. So I've been trying some that I've been I've been told are a little bit more sensitive eye friendly and the one that I've been kind of li liking the most is this is from Eva Loam or yeah Eve Loam sorry Eve Loam and this is the Time Retreat Eye Treatment Contour. So you just put this on and I like this because you can put it up onto the eyelids. Um, and I've just been noticing my eyes are looking a little bit more firm, a little bit more radiant. Um, I use this one every other day and I use some other ones kind of throughout. Just kind of make sure that everything's being given a proper test. But this one so far has been giving me probably the best results. Um, and so this one, this one's going to stay in my arsenal. And I really like it. It makes my eyes just look less like I'm 35. It's always a good thing. So my next ooh for the month is a mascara. And everyone knows that I love, if you watch my ride or die makeup tag, you'll know that my ride or die mascara is the one from Too Faced, it's the Better Than Sex. But this one, this is, I don't even know what this is called. It's just, okay, it's Tom Ford's Extreme Mascara. I got this, if you watched my Nordstrom haul video, you know that I bought a Tom Ford set. Um, and part of the Tom Ford set was a lipstick, a tiny little vial of his, prim of his face primer, and this mascara. And I was kind of afraid, in all honesty, I was, I was afraid my sensitive eyes were going to reject it. But they did not. So this has been a really good mascara that I've been kind of using when I don't use my Better Than Sex or when I just kind of want to just, you know, a quick eye and I don't want to go wah with my eyelashes. Um, it is expensive, it is on the pricey side, so when I rebuy this, I might, you know, have to dip into a little credit card saving action. But this is a really, really good mascara. So yeah, the Extreme Mascara from Tom Ford. I mean, you gotta give it to Tom Ford. He's really killing it. He is slaying the game on the makeup, on the makeup side right now. Kind of, and it's all very expensive, which upsets me a little bit. But what are you gonna do? So my next ooh for the month is from Maybelline, and this is their Brow Drama Brow Crayon, and this is a really good quick and easy way to get defined brows in less than like a minute. This, it's just a nice like little crayon, just like that. And you just whoo, brush it, like wipe it in and you're off to go. Um, this is the shade, which what is this? I think this is dark brown or light brown. I have, I've been alternating between the light and the dark brown one just to see which one I like better. Because um, typically with my blonde hair, I like to go for a more defined brow, but I think this this is the shade that I've been using the most. Um, and sadly, I can't find what shade it is. Probably peeled the sticker off, but yeah. 
So anyways, the Brow Drama Pomade Crayon, one of my August oohs for sure. Other August ooh is a lip product, and this is the this is the lip sculptor from Tarte. I actually have three of these. I have a nude one too, but I left it at the office. Um, so I have a darker one. I'm actually wearing the gloss side of the red, of this red one um, on my lips right now. But the thing I like a, about this a ton is it is a lipstick on one end and a lip gloss on the other. So you are always, it makes it super easy, obviously when you're traveling, because you have your lipstick and your lip gloss in one container, but you also don't have to worry about finding something to go over your lips if you just want a lip gloss, but you want the same color of the lipstick you are wearing. If you want to go from day to night, super, super simple. You have your gloss on in the morning, you switch it out, put on the matching lipstick with gloss on top at night, and it just makes it, it, makes it very easy. You can throw one of these in your purses or in your travel bags and you are good to go for the day. Um, so I have this one. I have this kind of darker color, which is called Rogue. This one is called Harley Quinn. And then I have a nude one, which, like I said, I left it at the office. Um, so these lip sculptors are my one of my August ooze for the month. Now, my last ooze as far as 21 and over folks only. So sadly, if you are under 21, you cannot partake in this. But this is the Moet and Chandon Rose Imperial. So this is their rose champagne. And the reason I like this, so first off, can we talk about how cute this bottle is? It's got pink flamingos all over it, which is super cute. Um, but it's the mini bottles. And here's my thing. A lot of the times, I don't really entertain at my house. I go out to brunch with friends. I go to other people's houses. So when I buy champagne, Prosecco, Cava, whatever it is, I try and get the mini bottles because I don't want to waste a tiny, a huge bottle for myself. But also, when I make cocktails, I like to pour the cocktail back into the mini container because it just is a very cute way to serve your beverages. Um, especially when they have really fun, cute designs like this pink flamingo one. Um, you make your champagne cocktail and then you pour the cocktail back into the glass and just drink it out of that. It's kind of a recyclable thing. It's just a cute, fun thing. But these like little mini bottles of the rosé from Moet are are one of my August faves for sure. Um, I am not going to lie that I've drank several of these already. Um, this is actually the last one that I have. <laughs> I actually saved it for this purpose. So this is definitely an August ooh, is this um, Rosé Imperial. And also, if you're a Rosé fan, the Moet Rosé is delicious. So good. Now it's time for my first installment of monthly ugh. Like, ugh, just no more. And my first one is from Living Proof. And this is their Humidity Shield. It's supposed to be an anti-frizz. Um, this is a travel size because as you know, when I try and when I try out new products, I don't buy the full sizes right away. I always buy a travel size to see if I like it. And this is one of the examples of where I'm really glad that I did because I do not like this product. It does not work on my hair. And I don't know, I've heard rave things about it, so I just don't know if it's my hair type, if it's because it's so processed. But this does not keep the frizz at bay. And it actually makes my hair feel a little dirty and not, you know, oh, I've got some texture dirty. Like, ew, you need to, yeah, it's been forever since you've washed your hair dirty. Um, so this is an ugh for me. This is a mess. No, no. Number one, so my other, I have three this month. My other ugh is, and I'm actually, I really, really, really want to like this. And this is the CoverGirl Intensi Intensify Me um, Liquid Liner. And the reason I don't like it is because of the shape of the thing. It's not, the, the applicator is not a sharp point. It's one of those weird flat ones. So you can do it like this, you can do it like that. It just doesn't work. I've tried several, several times. I've tried it on me, I've tried it on other people. I just cannot get this thing to work. It just does not give me a clean line. I find it skips sometimes. I have to go over some things. So I normally really like CoverGirl products, but this one is a miss for me. This is a monthly ugh. This ugh, ugh is from Tarte. And I normally like Tarte products quite a bit, but this one, I just didn't work for me. It's the Fresh Eyes Eye Makeup Remover Wipes. Um, I like my eye makeup remover wipes to actually be pretty damp and I feel like it gets off the makeup. These aren't super damp and they I had to scrub my eyes to get the eye makeup to come off. And I don't like to do that because I don't want wrinkles. My eye area is very delicate. So these, as you can see, the package is still full. I barely dip into these. I think I dipped into this the other day because I couldn't find my eye makeup remover. So desperation called. 
but these are just an ugh for me. Um, I just didn't feel like they were worth the money. I find like the simple eye makeup remover and the makeup remover wipes work 10 times as better as these and they are cheaper. And I feel like you get more, so. Okay guys, so those are my monthly oohs and uggs for August. Um, if you agree with me, let me know down in the comments. If some of these products, if some of my uggs have worked for you, more power to you. Um, if there are products you want me to try and review, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, please make sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And make sure you follow me on all my social media, which is Misty Michelle XO. So Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, it's all Misty Michelle XO right here for you. And until then, bye guys.